important. Okay. Right, before we watch this review, I just thought uh, that me, Radcliffe, the biggest Sonic fan in the world, should say that this review, it means nothing to any true Sonic fan, any true Sonic fan like me, who owns a t-shirt like this and keeps the tag on it so that it stays in good condition, will know that this, this man, Joseph, is an idiot, because he said Sonic 4 was a good game last year, and now he's saying Sonic Generations is a good game this year, and it's rubbish, because he can't play... A shadow, as we all know, the best character in Sonic. Anyway, let's see what this idiot has to say for himself, eh? Last year I tell you that Sonic 4 was the best Sonic game since the Mega Drive days, and not one of these believe me. Well, this year we've got Sonic Generations, another trip down memory lane, another nostalgia fix. Let's see if it's any good. If Sonic 4 was an apology from Sonic Team, Sonic Generations is a middle finger. Everything, and I do mean everything, from the past 20 years is here. All of Sonic's infuriating pals, including Shadow and Silver, aye, me neither, join him in a journey that gives as much precedence to Green Hill Zone, one of the best moments in Sonic's life, to Sonic 2006, one of the absolute fucking worst. But it's presented so well that you won't care. The cutscenes have a Saturday morning cartoon charm about them, and the hub is a wonderful way of collecting all the levels together. The levels themselves are brilliantly designed, if you've been playing Sonic games recently. You play as either scary looking modern Sonic or cute wee fat Sonic in 3D or 2D levels. Fat Sonic might be designed to appeal to the folk that haven't played a game since they had a Mega Drive, but the truth is that both gameplay styles need a bit of familiarity with the way a modern Sonic game works to get ahead. I might be able to breeze through because I'm the kind of loser that played through Sonic Unleashed, but give Scott the controller and it's a different story. There's no denying though that it's a great game for people that at some point in their life love Sonic. If you can steal yourself to get through the niggles, there's plenty to love about it. There's unlockable music from pretty much every Sonic game, and there's a great sweet spot you find where you can just flow through the levels like you always dreamed that Sonic could back in the day. As a history piece, it even manages to convince you that Sonic didn't lose it that much. It has some pretty self-deprecating humour slagging off Sonic's more bizarre adventures. It does a lot to endear you to the little guy again. It just goes to show that a bit of humour goes a long way. I even found myself defending his past on Sonic's team behalf. I mind back when uh, Sonic Adventure and then Sonic Adventure 2 came out and then Heroes after that and everyone called them all shite and well they were, but I loved them, if only for a couple of moments that shone through. And that's what this game is. It says, do you remember that bit you loved? Remember the skyscraper? Do you remember the San Francisco Hills? Remember that whale? Aye, the whale! Wasn't it brilliant? And I'm like, aye, it was brilliant. And I lap it up like I always do. Sonic Generations is a game made for Sonic fans. It collects all the best bits from his 20 years of history, gets rid of the really shite parts and makes a good wee joke about some of the more forgivable things that he's done. In, in short, it's a game for all the people that moaned about Sonic 4. Sonic 4 was a game made for people that forgot how to play Sonic games. Sonic Generations is for suckers like me that have been buying them for 20 years. <laughs>